Hey, welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. I got another opening video for you today. Today, 2022 Bauman Platinum. Let's check it out. One of my favorite openings every year is Bauman Platinum. It's never really a high-end release. It's uh, typically exclusive to Walmart, I believe. And uh, I just love it that it's veterans and it's the new up-and-coming prospects and the best rookies and uh, i bought one of the mega boxes i saw they had them for 90 bucks at meyer and walmart um <clears throat> i found this at a show for 70 so i was able to get about 20 bucks off of it by buying it at a show and uh here's the odds on the back let me take a screenshot of those okay here we go This has two guaranteed autographs per box. Um, how many packs does it have? I don't know. Doesn't really say how many packs. It says 20 packs, five cards per pack. Packs with a special insert may contain only two or three cards. So, uh, obviously you're hoping for a big name, Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez. Uh, one of the big prospects, Wander Franco would be great. Um, Torkelson, Riley Green would be cool if they have that stuff. But uh, 20 packs, so let's get into it. Let's not delay. I don't know what it is they've done to a different material for their packs this year, and they're tougher to open. But let's take a look at the design. This is the veteran design, and this is... The prospect design so you can see the differences there obviously this is more squared off here where the logo is this is more round so a little bit more wavy with the prospect design I think they look great this year um typically not like a high-end stock they are a foil base and so i do really enjoy the look of the cards this is one of the inserts it looks like in a degron base this is one of the inserts says it's minted in merit that's the name of the insert there garrett mitchell one of the higher prospects for the brewers so we'll see if he turns himself into anything special hopefully starling Marte base joe ryan rookie not a bad one a couple prospects here ethan wilson jc correa and a garrett cole base now i'm not sure is J.C. Correa, is he Carlos Correa's brother? Oh, yeah, it says right there. Carlos's brother. J.C. is focused on graduating college as a primary life goal, but now is all I know in baseball. So, cool. And if he comes from the Carlos Correa stock of talent, he's probably going to be a pretty good player. Maybe not the best head on his shoulders, but we'll see. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, Julio base rookie. Like that a lot. Very cool. Put that in a separate pile. Deshaun Knowles. Matt Frazier prospect. Another one of <clears throat> another one of the inserts. Renowned rookies. Jaron Duran. Cool insert. And a Tatis base. So obviously the rookies, the base rookies, are in the veteran design. And while the prospects are have a little bit different design there. So. At the end of this video, I'll kind of give my rev my review of the product, and I love lo I love opening this stuff. Vlad Guerrero Jr. actually doesn't really look like Vlad a whole lot there. It looks more like Kenley Jansen, but anyways. Vlad, Braden Beek, Beck, and Jefferson Cuero. Pujols and Baz. Base cards. Alec Thomas rookie, nice one. J. Allen prospect, Victor Lizarraga, Lizarraga prospect cards. Now these are great looking inserts. There's a Juan Soto in a Padres uniform in the base card. These look fantastic. I love the look of these. It looks almost like um, an insert that you'd see in like, uh, what's that, uh, Panini Optic. Not sure what the insert is. P.E. What, what would P.E. stand for? Let's take a look at the, the names 
down there. Aqua Ice, pink, blue, green, icy foil, platinum bar, gold, red, orange, red, platinum bar. Um, I don't see it. Precious Elements, looks like. Precious Elements is the name of that insert. Very cool looking card. I like that a lot. And it's Khalil Watson. Khalil Watson is a pretty good name. I think he was one of the bigger names in Bauman's base release this year. Xander Bogart, base. Hunter Green, rookie. Sam Bachman. Marcelo Mayer. Marcelo Mayer was the big name driving uh, Bauman Draft last year, I believe. And a Donaldson. Uh, so if you don't know what this, pro this product is about, the base set is a 100-card set. A 100-card base set, numbered 1 to 100. The prospect set is a 100-card prospect set, or has been in previous years. So it's T-O-P, and then it has a num numerical designation after it. Um, and then obviously the... Um, as long as they haven't gone to like a, a, a short print rookie style, the inserts are separate numbers. But I see my guy on the back there, Miguel Cabrera. Jordan, base, Blaze Jordan, and Tyler Black. Renowned rookies, Alec Thomas, and of course my guy, Miggy. In the past, they have had color parallels of the base cards. I think it'll be kind of hard to tell if they do have. I don't think I've noticed any of them being different yet. So. Pete Alonzo base. Jonathan Classe. Elijah Tatis. Nick Lodolo. And Jose Abreu. I feel like you used to get ice more often. The uh, ice parallels more often in these. So I guess they're making it harder to get the parallels, which is a good thing. It makes it a little bit more desirable. But a lot of that comes from probably just the overproduction of the stuff. Giancarlo. Luis Rodriguez. Lonnie White. Oh, a Volpe. Precious Elements. Love that one. Very cool card. A little bit of a, is that part of the background design? Or is that just, well, it's probably the part of the background design. And a Cedric Mullins base. Last pack from the first half of the box. Haven't seen an autograph yet. Like to see that. Still looking for a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie and a Spencer Torkelson rookie. Chris Bryant base. Joe Rock, Jairo Pamiris. Brandon Valenzuela. In a random marsh base. So that's the first autograph. I'll get a little penny sleeve for that guy there. Brandon Valenzuela. There you go. There's the first autograph. At least he's the position player. Let's see what position he plays. Does it tell us anything? He's a catcher, looks like. Right underneath the San Diego Padres there, it says catcher so as a rule of thumb i typically don't collect pitchers or catchers typically they're not really drawn to them as position players and yachty mazzucato pedro pineda base noel v Marte. i guess i didn't realize he got traded to the reds he was a mariners prospect for a couple years there Good prospect. And a Lindor base. Scherzer base. Calvin Ziegler. Brian Ramos. There's a nice Bryson Stott rookie. And a Manny Machado. Who no longer mint. Trey Turner. Look at those goggles he's got on. My goodness. Ryan Spikes. Kevin Maid. There's a Torkelson. Renowned rookie. That's a cool one for the PC there. I like that card a lot. And Josh Lowe rookie.
MJ Melendez. Matt Manning, rookies. Very cool. I like the Matt Manning. Colby White. Zach Deloach. Prospect cards. And a Bo Bichette base card. Looks like we got six packs left. Andrew Vaughn Base, Ryan Holgate, James Wood. I know James Wood is a really good prospect. He was supposed to be with the, I can't remember who he was with, and then traded to the Nationals. So that's a nice Wood. Averson Ortega, Precious Elements. And there's a Javi Baez base for my Tigers. So far, nothing that's mind-blowing or anything. Got the cool Julio base rookie, which is nice. Looks like we got maybe just a base pack. We got Mount Castle base. Alejandro Hidalgo, Matthew Nelson. Joey Votto, Jake Berger rookie. I'd like to see a little bit more variation in packs. You know, a color parallel in there or something. The inserts are really good looking. Nice Otani base card. Gavin Williams, Manuel Emmanuel Rodriguez. There's a nice little Wander Franco, renowned rookies. Tell you what, the number of different Wander Franco base rookies that are in these uh, insert rookies in this year's releases is an astronomical number. There are so many different Wander Francos. They're great. They're cool looking cards. But uh, how do you collect them all? As a Rays fan or a Wander Franco fan, there's a ton of them. Madrigal Base, Gavin Sheets, rookie. Jordan Lawler, good name, terrible team. Andrew Painter, and a Seth Beer, rookie. Two packs left. Let's see some end of the box magic here and pull something awesome. Eluris Montero. Khalil Watson, great name there. Christian Roa. Henry Davis, the number one overall pick from last year. Charlie Blackman base. And this last pack should have an autograph in it. Let's see who it is. Uh, pull the rookie from the back there. J.P. Sears, Salvador Perez, Robert Gasser. And let's see if we can guess who it is by the hat. It's an elf. Uh, it's an angel. I'm mean, if it was Mike Trout, but he's a pitcher. Sam Bachman. So, wah, wah. Anyways, those are the breaks of the game. When it comes down to kind of buying boxes, that's how it goes a lot this year, especially with the overproduction of cards. Um, but you're guaranteed two autographs with these. That's probably the best deal that you're going to find for guaranteed autographs. Now, they are prospect autos. Uh, I guess it's the best deal that you're going to find for licensed autographs. And so you could do Panini products, which aren't licensed um, by MLB as of right now. Things will be changing when Fanatics takes over. So um, we'll see kind of how the landscape of collectible cards changes, how they look. Um, but I still think Bauman Platinum is a fantastic deal. Uh, yeah, you're getting a lot of base cards. You're getting some cool rookies. Like I said, I got that Julio Rodriguez base rookie. Great looking card. If I were to have it at a show, I'd probably put, put three to five bucks on it right now. Um, it's just a base uh, Julio Rodriguez rookie. Um, cool inserts. The precious elements are great looking. Renowned rookies. Eh, they're cool. It's nice foil. Pretty Pretty looking cards. Got some good names. These ones are neat looking. I just don't like landscape cards. The Volpe Precious Elements is a great looking card. Khalil Watson. So for the inserts I got, I got some great names. I got the right names as far as the rookies that I got. Just to obviously didn't get the Bobby Witt Jr. of anything. And the autographs could have been better names. But then again, um, I mean, it's the gamble you take when buying packs and buying boxes. So... I love Bauman Platinum. I will always love Bauman Platinum. I think it's a great little set, especially for a starting collector. 
Um, it has a good mix of the veterans and the star players of today, as well as the best rookies of today and some of the top prospects. And it's not that hard of a set to complete. So uh, a 100 card base set, 100 card prospect set, and then obviously the insert cards. Uh, if you wanted to build the insert sets, it probably would not be that hard because you can get them in abundance. Most likely you can buy them on eBay in lots for relatively affordable prices. So if you're looking at building a set, a good looking set, I think Bauman Platinum is a fantastic design this year. Really cool looking foil board design. Um, I think it looks great with every player on there. The Otani is a cool looking card. So yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's a hit. I love Bauman Platinum. You're probably not going to hit big names out of the autographs. If you do, fantastic. Looking at, and uh, like I said, my box was kind of a dud, but I got some good names, got the base Julio rookie, and I got it for a lot cheaper than you can get it for in the stores. So if you can find a good deal on the boxes, then I think it's even more of a hit. Um, but if you can only find it at retail stores or whatever, um, I think 90 bucks for two guaranteed autos is still a pretty good deal in the current climate of collecting cards. And then again, in the past, they have had other forms of these, so they've released them in blasters and hanger packs, which are obviously a cheaper option uh, to buy than what you're looking at there. So if those come out eventually, then maybe you can get into it for a little bit cheaper and complete those sets for, uh, for a little bit less money than 70 bucks or 90 bucks for a guaranteed two autos. If you have any questions or comments about baseball cards, collectibles at all, please feel free to share them with me. I love reading those and responding to you guys. Have a fantastic new year.